Fountain Peugeot, we decided to call upon the architect Olivier Racoupeau to design this new model of 44 feet, which we called the Helia. The plan was to build a ship that could face the ocean, in the case of a couple wanting to travel around the world on a very seaworthy yet comfortable boat, but that could also easily be rented out to 8 to 10 boaters for recreational sailing purposes. As always, with Fountain Pajot, the key notion here is harmony. This is a very elegant, seaworthy, and of course comfortable boat. Its name, Helia, comes from its innovative aspect. The idea was to design shafts of light that drown the boat in light and make it very pleasant to live inside. One of the most innovative aspects of the Helio concerns life on board, where the saloon and the cockpit form one harmonious whole with the kitchen at the center. In the cockpit, there is a table that can easily seat 10 persons, as well as large storage areas. Then we enter the saloon, which Isabelle Racoupeau worked on with a sharp sense of detail and design, all the while making it very functional. The kitchen can either face forward or back, it is actually possible to work on either side, and has all the necessary storage space, as well as very clever fridges consisting of large drawers. Moving forward, we now reach the living area, with a coffee table that is also a storage space and that can be converted into a dining table if ever one wanted to dine inside. Near it, a very convivial area that is destined more for the skipper, with a chart table and all the necessary equipment for ocean navigation. The helm station is directly linked to the cockpit. The helmsman or woman can therefore easily converse with the passengers seeking the shade of the cockpit, and can access all the navigation equipment as well as all the rigging. So when you are on watch, you will have everything at hand, proper navigation elements, rigging, as well as electric winches, and automatic reefing for better maneuvering. And another important innovation. The helmsperson is slightly off-center, earning him or her more visibility forward. This allows for free access to the launch deck, a very pleasant area where you can sit comfortably on a sofa or lie on a deck chair if you would rather sunbathe. From here you dominate the sea and have a great view ahead, all the while reading or resting quietly. So there are many different areas where the crew can spread out according to each one's desire. Of course, the Echo Cruising program was also implemented on board the Helio 44. Solar panels capable of producing 300 to 400 watts were installed at the back of the boom, thus well exposed to sunlight, enabling them to produce large amounts of energy. Thanks to the control panel on the chart table, you can check that the boat is really self-sufficient in terms of energy, which means not having to use the engines to supply the necessary amount of energy on board. Going down a few steps, we are now in the cabins, where the portholes offer a great panorama. Another innovation in the back cabins, a porthole that offers a great view on the wake of the boat. Each cabin is equipped with its own spacious bathroom, with separate shower. The halls are really a special area for intimacy and repose on board the Helia 44.